Jeddah Tower, the tallest skyscraper in the world from now on. Hello lovely YouTube family, welcome back to Future Tens. In today's video, we are going to talk about Jeddah Tower, the tallest skyscraper in the world from now on. Before we start, hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our video. They promise it will rise to more than a thousand meters into the sky, making it the world's tallest building by quite a margin. Right now, though, Jeddah Tower stands at barely 250 meters and the workers have downed tools because of labor disputes and the arrest of senior staff during the 2017 Saudi Arabian purge. Provided construction restarts, this 167-story superstructure will eventually scrape the sky above a new city called Jeddah Economic City, just north of Jeddah on Saudi Arabia's Red Sea coast. By breaking the record for the world's tallest building, the developers say they hope to aggrandize the international image of both Jeddah and Saudi Arabia as a whole. This planet of ours is bristling with super-tall buildings, all doing their utmost to draw attention to the cities they rise out of. Right now, the tallest of all is Burj Khalifa in Dubai at 828 meters. Below that, there are nine other buildings taller than 500 meters, five in China and one each in Saudi Arabia, Taiwan, South Korea and the United States. As feats of engineering, like rockets reaching for the heavens, they are certainly impressive. But why such an obsession with being the tallest? Does size matter? Daniel Safarek is editor-in-chief at the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat in Chicago, an organization that researches skyscrapers and officially ranks buildings by height. He believes humans will continue to construct taller and taller buildings, possibly as high as 2,000 meters. There is a consensus among engineers that a 2,000-meter or approximately mile-high skyscraper is achievable by today's technology, he tells Chart Magazine. But whether this would be financially practical is another matter. Safarik pinpoints the main purposes for these giants of architecture. In the traditional North American Central Business District, with expensive real estate and the need to house a large headquarters, there is a strong economic argument for making the most of that block of space by stacking as high as possible, he says. One is also making a statement of power and prestige. In a desert environment, as is the case with Jeddah Tower, space is not at a premium. In the middle of the desert, one is almost exclusively making a statement about power and prestige," Safarik adds. The other benefit of enormous skyscrapers, he says, is that the technology they engender aids the construction industry as a whole. Faster elevators, better anti-swaying devices, advanced mechanical systems, solar glare-resistant glass, etc., the learnings from shooting for the moon can come to benefit those of us who must make do with run-of-the-mill 40-story towers in our daily lives. Even in a post-pandemic world where so many office workers are now working from home, Safarik believes there will be an appetite for skyscrapers. Although there may be less of a desire to fill them with cheek-by-jowl co-working spaces, he adds, if we can work out the spacing of people in elevators, then we may see a good many high-rises with lower population densities overall. However, it will also mean more cutouts, outdoor spaces, and other ways to get fresh air, a trend that was already underway. Constructing skyscrapers is nothing new. It all started in 1885 with Chicago's now-demolished, 10-story, 42-meter-high home insurance building, the first time a steel frame was used to support the entire weight of the building rather than normal, load-bearing masonry. Developers in Chicago, New York City, and London soon embarked on what can only be described as a sky race. Unshackled by strict planning regulations, it was New York that took the lead. In 1930, the Bank of Manhattan Trust Building, now 40 Wall Street, at 283 meters, held the record for the, being the world's tallest, quickly followed by the Chrysler Building and then the Empire State Building, which kept the record for the next 40 years. From then on, skyscraper after skyscraper appeared on metropolis skylines around the world. Cities grew bigger and the land became more expensive, while the technology of steel framing, fireproofing, Concrete, passenger lifts, and glass improved exponentially. In 1972, the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York took the record at 417 meters, swiftly followed by the Sears Tower in Chicago. Then the sky race moved to Asia, with Malaysia's 452-meter Petronas Towers and Taiwan's 509-meter Taipei 101, before Dubai's Burj Khalifa trumped the lot with its 828 meters. Both the Burj Khalifa and the future Jeddah Tower have Y-shaped cross-sections with three wings emerging from a triangular core. The architects of Jeddah Tower are a company called Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture. They explain how their new design features 59 elevators serving the building, some of them double-decked. The elevators to the observatory will ascend and descend at 10 meters per second. The tapering wings of the building are intended to be aerodynamic so that the whole structure won't oscillate in the wind. 
The architects have also designed notches in all three sides of the tower to create pockets of shadow that shield area from the building from the sun and provide outdoor terraces with stunning views. The entire tower is expected to have a final cost of $1.2 billion. Of course, they need to build it first. When that will be is not clear. Chart Magazine approached the architects, the developers, and the parent company. All three declined to respond. Even Safarik at the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat is somewhat in the dark. The official word is that Jeddah Tower is under construction, he says, but I'm afraid we have not gotten an update in quite a while. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.